think a good starting point today is actually in a standing position at the top of the mat. It always feels funny to not start in seated for me, so let's take a moment to kind of feel ourselves as though we're in a seated position. So sense of being, you know, kind of still, but alert. When we're standing, we feel like we're going to go somewhere, but we're standing still right here. Feel the body settle on the four corners of each foot. Feel the muscles in the face relax. Feel the beauty in this moment as you watch the breath. Begin to deepen the breath now. Shift into victorious breath. So let's initiate that together. Breathing in through the nose first. All the way up to the chest, fogging out through the mouth. All the way down to the belly, fogging in through the mouth. Back to the chest, close the mouth, exhale through the nostrils. Let every inhalation last for five seconds, every exhalation lasting for five seconds. If it's a little shorter or longer, it's good, whatever works, but keep it consistent, deep and long. Now let's start to move the, the body here. So keeping eyes closed, maybe start to circle the shoulders. Begin to circle the shoulders the other way. Release the shoulders and just start to circle the wrists around. And then in the other direction. Relax the arms, shift over to the left foot, lift the right leg and circle this ankle, this foot in a few circles one way and a few circles the other. And then we'll set the foot down and switch sides. And then we'll set the foot down. Standing nice and tall, engage the thighs. Next inhalation, reach the arms upwards. On the exhale, bring the palms together, draw the thumbs in towards the heart center. About five more of these, connecting to the breath, inhaling, reaching out and up. Exhaling, palms in, head down. Continue like this, moving the head with the arms.
Okay, once you have the arms up next time, keep them up and then step the feet apart to the edges of the mat. So just a little bit of a wider stance. We're gonna find eagle arms. So on the next exhale, cross one elbow in front of the other. Doesn't matter which, just note which one it is. See if you can wrap forearms around each other. If not, keep the tops of the hands pressed into each other if you can. Otherwise, palms press into each other. Shift the elbows forward and upward. And on the next exhalation, bend the knees and begin to fold. Releasing the head. As if you're trying to straighten the arms, but the elbows meeting each other will prevent that. Two more breaths. With the knees bent, begin to unroll the spine. Inhale, reach the arms upwards. And then exhale, cross opposite elbow in front, wrap the arms around each other. Send the elbows forward and up. And then exhale, bend the knees and start to lower. Two more breaths. And we'll unroll the spine, keeping arms just like this until the shoulders come up. Unravel the arms, reach them upwards. Next exhale, take the hands behind, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulders back, look upwards. Exhale, fold forward. Sending arms up overhead, shaking tension out from the neck. You move the head around and then let it go. One more breath. And then we'll exhale, lower the hands down. Now we're going to come into a squat, but we're also going to have a chance for maybe an arm balance. So if you're going to maybe try a crow posture with me today, it's been a while for me. You'll step the feet back and make sure you have enough space for the hands to come to the mat. So then we'll have the feet still at the edges of the mat and start to lower the hips down and then stretch the heart up. So maybe hips are going to be lifted a little bit. That's okay. See if you can keep the, the heels planted rather than the heels up and the hips lower. Then you can play around with that. But we want to focus now on the hips, lowering them, and then we'll create a little resistance here. So with elbows to the insides of the knees, push the legs into the elbows and the elbows back into the legs, and then relax the legs, but push them out with the elbows. Do this again about three more times, pushing and relaxing. So we'll help open up those areas that are stuck And then we'll just keep the knees open, lift the heart as best as you can. Maybe close the eyes or maybe look forward or even upward. And we'll take another deep breath. So you can choose to stay here or maybe play around with the crow posture today. Bakasana. So if you'd like to do that, you'd have hands down in front, lift the hips up so that you can get the knees towards the triceps. You can have knees on the outer upper arms, or if you can get them to the triceps, it might feel a little bit more stable, though it takes a little bit more effort. Start to bring weight into the hands, even if it's just the heels lifting, that might be plenty. It's been a while for me, so I don't know where I'm going to go. Then you keep the belly active and maybe lift a foot. Make sure the pants aren't slippery. Spread the toes, maybe lift the other foot. Toes spreading, otherwise you're in your squat. Happy there. Step by step process, little by little. We'll come back in that squat and then we'll have the hands come down and step the feet back 
to plank, lower, and then find a back bend, and then meet in downward facing dog. Next inhalation, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, bring knee to nose. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Left heel presses down. Let's rise up to warrior A. And then exhale, lower right back down and take a vinyasa here. From downward facing dog, inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, left leg back up. Exhale, left foot between the hands, right heel presses down and rise up. Arms reach up. On the next exhalation, hands come down. Lift the left foot, step it back lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more breaths. Okay, let's look forward, float the feet forward to the top of the mat. Feet hips distance apart. Inhale, come up halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up and then cross elbows one in front of the other. Wrap the arms around each other. This time we're coming into an eagle. So start to shift weight over to, let's see, make sure you have the left elbow forward in front of the right. Then we'll start to shift over to the left leg, bend into that leg and cross right knee on top of left. Just take two breaths. So you might be able to be here for uh, feeling stable or might be a little shaky. And then we're going to step the right foot back, unravel the arms, reach them up, exhale the hands down and then step the right foot up. Inhale, come up halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to standing. This time, bring the right elbow in front of the left, wrap the arms around each other. Shift over to the right leg, bend into that knee. Left knee on top of right knee. Maybe hook the toes, just two breaths here. Unravel. Take the left foot back, arms reach up. Exhale, hands down. This time we're stepping back and taking a vinyasa. So right foot behind, lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. And let's inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Left heel presses down. Rise back up into warrior A. This time we're going to be here for a moment. Sinking into the right knee. Pulling in the pelvis. And then we'll find warrior B. Arms come to a T. Left toes face left side of the mat. Let's take the arms and really reach them back and then bring them forward. So we're going to open and close the arms. Once again, opening, closing, open. And this time we'll keep the arms to a T, sink into the right knee and then lower right forearm to right thigh. Inhale, left arm up and over, stretching out of the left waist, feeling length and energy running up from the left heel to the left fingers. Maybe looking up past the left thumb. And now we're gonna keep the right knee bent and rise up, arms to a T, we'll find a peaceful warrior, left hand down, right arm up and over, reaching behind.
and let's bring the arms to a T. This time take the hands behind, interlace the fingers. Start to pivot the left toes, so they're gonna, you're gonna have to bring the foot in a little bit. Pivot, so you're kind of almost back in that warrior um, A with hands behind, but we're a little off to the left, facing left front corner of the mat. Squeeze the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, dip the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Another deep breath. And release the arms around the right foot. Step back, take a vinyasa here. From downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Right heel presses down, rising to warrior A for a couple breaths or so first. Feeling lift in the heart, the pelvis tucked in. The chin slightly in, the neck long, crown of the head lifting upwards. These warrior postures are meant to invoke a sense of courage. So allow ourselves to feel that. And then on the next exhale, warrior B, arms come to a T. From here, we're going to open and close the arms a few times, inhaling and exhaling. And then we'll have the arms to a T. Nice deep breath here. Sinking into the left knee a little bit more deeply. And then left forearm to left thigh. Inhale, right arm up and over. Maybe turning the head to look up past the right thumb. And we'll start to rise here, but keep the left knee lunging. Right hand can come down the right leg. Inhale, leave, uh, lift the left arm up and over without getting distracted in the left leg. So stay strong there, thinking into that. And we'll bring the arms to a T. Hands behind now, interlace the fingers. You wanna to start to pivot the right foot slightly forward. Squeeze the shoulders back, look up, and then exhale, lowering left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. One more breath. Exhale, the hands down around the left foot. Lift the left foot, step it back, lower. Another vinyasa, but this time we're going to meet in child's posture and rest here for a moment. Forehead down, hips down. Feeling the trunk move with the breath. Feeling the beauty of this moment. And we're going to inhale, rise up to table. Take a few cat cows here, knees underneath the hips. Inhaling, belly relaxing, down. Exhaling, belly engaging, up.
and then find a neutral spine. Next inhale, lift the right leg behind, and then exhale, right knee to right hand, slide the left leg back. We're going to take a two-part hip opener here. So first starting with the pigeon. So begin maybe with the back bend and then start to lower down. Now as you're here, a couple times, push the right leg into the mat and then relax it. And also you might roll over the back toes and lift the left knee up and then relax that leg. You might do that a couple times. And then relaxing in for five breaths. We're going to find a cow face posture from here. So let's start to rise and we keep the right leg as it is. Roll to the right hip, swing the left leg forward, and then we're going to stack left knee on top of right as best as we can. And try to kind of take the feet away from the um, hips, or they can actually be closer together. Really, it's which, whatever variation feels good. Left knee is on top, so we're going to take right arm up above, bend the arm and take left fingers to right elbow, and then pulling the chin in to push into the arm with the head. If you can find the bind behind the back, look for that. Clasping fingers behind the back. And we'll release the arms, take them out to the sides, find a twist to the left. So right hand outside the left or uh, right arm outside the left thigh or on top of really left hand behind, turning to the left. And we'll inhale, come to center. Take the left leg behind. Bring hands down, come to table. Lift the left leg behind, left knee to left hand, right leg slides back. Little lift and then we lower. A couple times, maybe pushing left leg into the mat and then releasing. Doing the same with rolling over back toes and lifting back knee and releasing. Leaving the tension behind. <sighs> Opening up to freedom instead of closed, stuck position in the body and the mind. And now we'll start to rise. Roll to the left hip. Bring the right leg forward, stack right knee on top of left. Just do what you can, even if it means just sitting cross-legged. Now we'll take the left arm above, bending the arm, maybe finding a bind behind the back, or focusing on fingers to left elbow and pulling that chin in. And we'll release the arms. You can bring them to a T and then twist to the right. So left arm out uh, to that right thigh, right hand behind, get tall, turn. <sighs> One 
one more breath. And then we'll come to center. So this time, just getting close to resting here, extend the left leg forward, bring right foot to the inner uh, left thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. These shorter classes means quicker transitions. About two or three breaths here. Feeling release in the back of the left leg and in the low back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, switch legs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold in. And inhale, rise up. Cross the ankles. Just go ahead and work with the head for a moment. So maybe move side to side, up and down. Maybe circles. Maybe take one ear up. So kind of leaving it up to you. We'll be taking about four breaths total for this little segment on the neck. And then we'll come down to the back once you feel ready. Maybe you find a spinal twist on the way down just for a moment. And then we're going to release the body completely. Letting the arms go, letting the legs go. This is an important and vital part of the physical yoga practice. It's where we now come into a sense of completely letting go. We come into as best of position of stillness as we can find in this moment. It's very beautiful moment. We allow the effort that we put forth to be absorbed. And so there's nothing else to do at this time but rest.
without changing anything, just begin to pay attention to the body again. Starting to deepen the breath. Starting to move the hands in circles. Maybe wiggling the fingers. Maybe moving the ankles and bringing feet together. Taking arms behind, finding length with the body, lifting the belly button up. Nice gentle back bend. And then bringing the knees in, arms around the knees. A little swaying side to side. Rocking to one side. And then rising up. to seal or practice today. We'll sit tall, bring palms together, and let sound om. Breathing in. Om. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I honor the light in you that is the same light in me. Namaste.